brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Hundreds of delegates have begun arriving, including diaspora delegate Javen Chargaloff. Originally from Inarahan, he is now a resident of San Diego, California. I'll be dancing. You'll see me, can't miss me. Long hair, I'll be in the front. He was inspired to dance by his grandmother, the founder of dance troupe Irencha Tautautano. And despite a decade away from home, he said his culture burns as bright as ever. I wear it. I speak it, I eat it, I dance it. <laughs> Everything that I do like revolves around it. He is one of the nearly 3,000 delegates arriving in Guam this week, many of whom are staying in housing facilities provided by the Guam Department of Education. Hundreds of volunteers began transitioning schools this morning. KUAM caught up with volunteers at Tiedzen High School, including Airman First Class Dunzel Crawley and Staff Sergeant Ryan Becton. We've cleaned out George Washington High School, moved everything out and cleaned up a lot of trash over there in the courtyard and then now we're just doing the floor is here. The uh, principal, the assistant principal, they're very friendly. They gave us food for lunch and everything. We didn't have to pay for that. Principal Sophia Duenas is asking the community to donate snacks and drinks for volunteers who will continue working until the job is done. She said Tiedzen High is expecting the first of 350 guests to arrive as soon as Thursday afternoon. DOE Deputy Superintendent Chris Anderson said DOE is providing 98% of the staffing requirements at the housing facilities. However, $60,000 will be needed to help pay these employees night differential. The Department of Education is going to do its part and then we will we'll, um, you know, keep track of the expenditures uh, that uh, we've incurred to support FESPAC and you know, then uh, I'm sure our superintendent will work with um, you know, Adeloop and the FESPAC planning group to see what can be done to recoup uh, the expenses incurred to, to make this happen. He thanked volunteers and welcome delegates who are coming to Guam for the first time, or those like Javen who are coming home. Being home is so nice, like, get to see the family, seeing the land, it's nice and green out here, it's beautiful. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.